Details following a fatal boat crash in Livingston Parish over the weekend. Tonight, we learned the Department of Wildlife and Fisheries is treating this as a criminal investigation. News News Destiny Beasley reports that charges may be filed. Ms. Michael Sylvia, investigators say that this could be a criminal investigation and charges could be filed, and they're in the early stages, and they're still trying to figure out what caused the crash. Around 1217 Sunday morning, Sergeant Randy Lanou with Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries says law enforcement responded to a devastating call. It took us 26 minutes to arrive on scene. He says when they arrived, they saw the aftermath of a fatal collision between a 25-foot Sea Fox boat and a 25-foot pontoon boat on Tickfaw River. Uh, the Sea Fox hit the pontoon boat what we consider to be mid-vessel. Uh, it basically, uh, lack of a better term, it T-boned it. Uh, the boat, the Sea Fox, ramped the, part, the pontoon boat, slid back off, rolled over, and it sank. The crash took the lives of 31-year-old Tui Gustin, a passenger on the Sea Fox boat, and 36-year-old Chase Sharkey, who was operating the pontoon boat. Six other people were injured in the crash. Lanou said when they arrived, they retrieved Gustin's body from underneath the capsized vessel. They tried to perform CPR, but she did not make it. He said the search for Sharky's body took a little longer. The vessels drifted away from their original point of impact. So what took us the longest was finding the original, the debris field. Once we located the debris field, we were able to uh, find and, and retrieve Mr. Sharky's body. There are a lot of rumors being spread about what did and did not happen. He says he wants the public to not listen to any of the rumors, but to let the investigation play itself out. The news says both water vessels had running lights. Toxicology screenings were performed on Sharky and the driver of the Sea Fox boat, who is still alive. The news is still waiting on those reports, saying it can take a couple of weeks. Just wait till the facts come out and, and you know and officially come out. We're gonna find we're gonna find the truth. I, I promise you, I'm gonna find the truth. Sergeant Lanou said the agency is starting the process of interviewing witnesses. We'll continue to follow this story and give you updates as they become available. Sylvia.